Drop the roof and let it go clear. I got diamonds to it, just a slash and both kids. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Sit that on and we might get the fight. Something that I keep the quality in my shorty back. You know she wants a mom when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy. She got a toy. Hey guys, I've just arrived in Paris and I literally just checked in. I'm a little bit late, so we need to hurry up. I need to jump back on the train because I need to go to the lift to do my tour because it's kind of like a strict time. Oh gosh, it's so hot in here. I also need to turn the heating off because it's literally like so, so warm. Anyways, just checked into the hotel. It's quite tiny, but it's very cozy in here and it's a very good location. So can't complain. I'm going to show you guys that in a bit. I also forget my tripod for my phone. So that's not good. So I need to see if I can find like a tripod, even though I don't know where I'm going to probably set up tripod in here. So it's more like we could to take photos like when I'm out and about but anyways I'm in Paris and today's my birthday it's quick room tour this is what she is looking like literally like so so tiny you have like a little nook in there on the photos online it looks so much bigger than this anyways you have like a little nook in the corner there and the window I'll show you that in a bit and then do like a 360 that's like the closet there down here is the hallway you have like a little tv on the wall you have like a mirror here and i'll show you guys just now and then this is the toilet um it's a decent sized mirror so i can probably do like get ready with me's in here um it does look a little bit different from what i saw online but yeah that's the shower and toilet the main thing is it's it's clean and it smells good anyways outside this is what we're seeing from the window basically it's like that garden there a nice little window which opens oh this is nice so you can pretty much like look out and then you have like a stairs there also it's a little bit cold i'm not gonna lie what i'm gonna do now is basically i'm not even gonna try and unpack i'm gonna see if i can re-download my maps and i'm gonna pretty much just use the toilet and head right out because i don't want this thing to miss me it's like 155 now and like i said i literally just walked in i said let me just quickly say hello to you guys so to get to the strains or oh, reduce service that's not good to get to the oh i'll get there early anyway and you get there for three i'll get there early and see if i can probably find a shop to buy a new tripod anyways let's get myself ready i'm in paris when i was walking up the street from the train station literally like a long road to come to the hotel about 15 minutes walk when I was walking up, it seems so much like London, like, and I felt really safe as well. You can see, like, the shops on the corner. In London, you have, like, loads of chicken shops. So you see, like, the chicken shops on the corner, or you'll see, like, the kebab shop, or... So it feels like, oh, I was in London. It didn't really hit me, like, oh, I'm in Paris type of thing. Especially because I took the train as well. It's like, oh, I'm still in London. But I'm pretty sure, like, when I go into, like, the touristy parts, then it will feel like... Oh yeah you're in paris so that's what i'm gonna do now and i'm pretty much gonna get myself ready and bring you guys with me of course i believe i'm in paris and it's my birthday <laughs> about to pop out now i plug my phone in quickly but i'm on like 47 per 48 percent so my battery probably is gonna die i'm just gonna put it on airplane mode if anything where is the key oh, wait, another i am legit relying on like road tourist signs right now because my google maps just it's not working so i'm literally like going in blind and i don't know where i'm going and it's almost three o'clock for my slot for the louvre and i have no clue where it is so i'm probably gonna have to ask someone because i don't know what's wrong with the google maps before it just allowed me to use it for the whole time but now it just worked for a while and then it just deletes itself which is so annoying and of course i was going in the wrong direction they said i need to oh it's, it's right there so i need to go around i think i have 30 minutes leeway anyway so it should be fine it's just that i don't like to be out and the maps isn't working that's why i downloaded the offline map but it's just not working for some reason i don't like this road 
There is no um Okay, we're just gonna run across here. Yeah? Oh, maybe not. Where is the walking man sign? Maybe I need to go up there. Okay, let's go up there because I don't mind it ain't safe. <laughs> just to see the Mona Lisa like why is this woman in oh. <laughs> like there is a massive queuing system just to go out there and take like a photo and it's like the tiniest thing ever it's not like a big one it's literally so tiny and everyone is queuing should we try and go up there we just need to take a photo of it and that's it basically but we can also see it here so it's not really like necessary this place is like legit massive and I am over it. I am so hungry. <laughs> my back hurts. So I am on my way exiting now because I'm going to look some food and then I'm going to see if I can um, see if I can catch the boat tour. Because I'm going to do that maybe like uh, sunset time or yeah, get a little bit dark because I want to see it in the night type of thing rather than daytime or maybe exit. Okay, I can't exit here. Yeah, so I want to catch that in the night time rather than daytime. So I'm going to look some food. Listen, anything right now will do. I have like a nature valley in my bag. So I probably could just um, eat that. But I think I'm going to eat that on the way to find like a spot. <laughs> and I'm really feeling for like a sweet treat. So maybe like a cake or something. I did saw somewhere like people queue up. So it seemed like it was really good. So I might try that one. Anyways, let's exit and go get some food. So I came back to the Louvre and I saw another girl and she seemed like she was traveling alone as well, which she was. And we've literally been here taking photos for the last like 30 minutes. And every time we're like, oh, just one more, just one more. We're like, oh, let's do this one again. But I got some really nice photo and I am very happy. Where am I going? Uh -huh. Do you want me to take it? Huh? You want me to take it? <laughs> I can't remember what I was saying. I saw someone struggling to take photos and I was like, do you want me to take it? So I ended up taking his photos. He was literally have on, having it up. <laughs> and where the fuck am I going? He literally have it up on like a pole and he was having, he put like a self timer on and taking photos. I need to find out where I'm going guys because the map will bring me in the wrong direction and I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, it's actually the right. This is strange. It doesn't look like anyone is exiting from there. That's the thing. This place is massive. Jesus Christ. We're ending up back at the hotel for two reasons. Well, I'm going to make it three since I'm here looking at myself. I need to take this makeup off. Um, my phone battery is dying, it's about 10% and I think it wasn't the smartest decision to make to go ahead and do any form of tour or anything with just 10% battery. So I'm back to the hotel just to get the phone charged a little bit. I'm probably going to just take this makeup off as well. And I also need to pick up my glasses just so I can see because I really want to enjoy the stuff that I'm doing as much as oh, I'm vlogging as well and documenting. I also want to enjoy in the moment and if i'm going to be doing tours and stuff i need to make sure that i can see so i'm going to come back for my glasses wipe this makeup off probably going to change my outfit as well to something a little bit warmer because it's a bit cold outside now and make sure that my phone is charged because safety first we need to know where we are at all times also my first meal in paris can you believe it my first meal in freaking paris is a mcdonald's burger <laughs> I was so so hungry and I was like you know what 
I need to wee, I need to eat, and I need to go back to the hotel. So the quickest thing for me to do right now is grab something quick to eat to avoid any form of headaches. Grab something quick to eat from McDonald's, use them toilet, and then come back. And then we can just reset and go again. So that's the plan. I'm going to put these on because my feet is killing me with my toes. Killing me a little bit. I'm going to put these on. I need to watch the time. Aiming for the last tour is at 10, but I don't want to be out that late anyway. Got a street that I'm on. Oh, my back. The street that I'm on. Why am I not sitting down? I realized that there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, guys and stuff always like hanging around on the street and there's a food market close by as well so you know how like market goes sometimes so people always gather there and because the station is literally like so close you're always gonna get those people at the stations so i don't want to be out like too too late even though whenever i go anywhere I always walk and act like i'm from the place so it's not that noticeable that i'm like a tourist or anything even when men are know me, I'm going to walk until I find somewhere safe and I'll stop. There's loads of hair shop on this street as well, which is so good. Um, like black hair shop, like you see braids and you see like loads of different, um, you know, like how the hair shop them look. Natural hair shampoo, conditioner, like loads of different stuff in there. I haven't been in there though. Oh shit. Shit. That's what I forget today. Shit. I was meant to get the, um, damn it. I was meant to get the tripod, but I haven't got the tripod because I wanted to take some photos tomorrow. I haven't got the tripod, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll just ask someone to take the photos for me just like I did today. To be fair, I have no clue what I ordered. This is tiny. Come on, McDonald's Paris. Why is it so tiny? This is mad tiny. I think it's like a, just a regular cheeseburger, but there was another name on it. I don't know. There's cheese inside the beef as well. It's quite nice actually. It's just a bit cold. About after seven, I'm about to head out again. I've got dressed, so just change like my top and my jacket basically and I'm gonna put this hat on just to keep my head warm and we're gonna head out the journey is around 30 that's a 40 minutes 36 40 minutes which is a bit long to be fair because I decided to come back to the hotel so it's a little bit long so what I'm gonna do is, I think it's close to where the Eiffel Tower is actually. So um, I'm gonna just go because I already paid for it. So I'm gonna go and enjoy. In the day it's night time, I think, to see Paris in the night in the river would be nice. Guys, I just came out of the station and look what it is. I still need to go a little bit because it is fucking freezing. Absolutely freezing. I think I need to walk around there to get where the port is. I am absolutely freezing. Because I changed my jacket as well. You can see the, the towel there. I changed my jacket, so I mean, it is warm. But the jacket is not doing protection. Um, brave. Brave. So, just one picture on the river, the right? So, what if in picture of a. Sorry. What people do for the picture, they literally risk their life. Not me. I can hardly hear you guys. I have my AirPods in. Sometimes I put my AirPods in. So, if people talking to me on the road, I can just ignore them. May I hear them? But I just don't want to talk to you. So I have clap in their ears so they can say, okay, she's not be rude. She just think if I should listen to music. So I like doing that. Like, especially if I'm traveling solo and you go in the station and stuff, they like to stop you. I realized I did it before. 
and they were stopping me so i was like okay let me just put my earphones in just if anyone does try to talk to me if can't just seminar hear them so they can't just leave without me seem like they have a rude or anything we're on the other side of the river and the tower is just actually i need to put on my glasses because i need to see like Oh, yeah. I need to see what I'm going on. At least if I have my glasses on, then I can see straight. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. I'm really blind. That is so pretty. So pretty you guys it's not even giving you justice eight o'clock now and you can see the tower is lighting up i don't know if i'm gonna get to see it again so it's like let me show you guys oh the light is literally right in the way but that's the tower lighting up maybe i'll still be out at nine to see it again but i just want to show you guys currently getting dressed to head out um i already did like my makeup and i'm just putting on some lip gloss i got a, a hot breakfast this morning and breakfast was okay um i pretty much have like some random stuff it could have been a little bit better in terms of like the selection but it was fine for what it is there wasn't that much people there as well so i'm guessing there's not much people staying in the hotel so yeah Anyway, so today on the agenda, um, I'm going to the place that I was last night. Um, that's where the Eiffel Tower is. I'm going to see if I can see it in the daytime. And then after that, I'm going to walk down to the Arc de Triomphe. I have a ticket book to do like a, a tour walking up. So that should be good. Um, hopefully my feet doesn't hurt. But I've, I'm mentally prepared for it to be fair. But we'll see. Hopefully, it's not too clouded outside as well, so I can at least see the view when I get to the top. Let them some edges mash up off on the bed. I'll put them over back. Yeah, just so I can see the view when I get to the top. And then I wanted to change before I go to like another place for brunch, but I don't think it's gonna happen only because it's not like close. So to come back, change, and then go again is kind of long. So. I'm gonna see, maybe I can find a more casual place and I can just wear what I'm putting on because it's also cold outside so I don't want to be doing too much, you know? I just want to stay warm. I want to take these braids out and go back home. Really want to get them redone though. But yeah, getting dressed quickly. It's about, what time now? I think it's... I think it's maybe like after 10 or so. I was looking at my skin in the bathroom. I was like, hmm, oh, my skin is like glowing. It's nice. I think it's about, yeah, it's 9.50. Um, I set my alarm for 7 this morning. But to be fair, I was like, you know what? I'm so tired. I was thinking, get up in the early morning. Fuck is this? I was thinking, get up in the early morning get dressed everything see if i can go and beat the world the old tourist thing to get like a picture at the tower and i was like absolutely not i was too tired actually because i came in so late last night and i went to bed late so i was like absolutely not where's my socks so i was like nah 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 so i'm gonna try and see if we can get that done today anyway if we can get that done today and hopefully someone is people must be there but hopefully someone will look dodgy is there to take my photo because i don't have my tripod 
and I don't think I'm gonna get to buy one so even this morning it was such a struggle because I was trying to film some TikToks and I couldn't so I used my camera and I just realized that how am I gonna transfer the footage I don't even have my laptop so I was like such a waste so that is that I need to put my shoes on and then my jacket and we're out I'm already in the underground because this whole fold is literally so windy as well um one thing I must say the trains here go really really quick I find that like you get to the stop so much quicker than if you're in London like they go full speed I am going to I'm in Trocadero um I think that's like a different angle so you need to get like a a shot of Paris don't know if you guys can hear me because I can see it's a little bit windy so when I get out the wind and find a better spot then I'll talk to you guys it is raining but it is spitting a bit but I am in Trocadero I'm pronouncing that right I'm probably like butchering the name but this is literally like so so nice i wish it was a little less like cloudy so it's like nice but i'm gonna ask someone to take a picture i'll bring even like a napkin to make sure that my camera is clean <laughs> but let me just view and then i'll get like a photo it's not that crowded out here as well it's nice for the life of me i cannot find someone to take my photo um there's no one out here that doesn't look as dodgy <laughs> I'm trying to find, see if I can find like a um, and it's quite empty out here as well I think because it's a Monday so it's like not as crowded and yeah so I can hardly find people to take a photo of me so I'm gonna hang on for a little bit more because I can't come that far not to get like a photo um, so hang on like a little bit more I kind of want it to be a bit close as well because when I'm putting it in the shot it's kind of like far but we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see i'm watching someone get proposed to <laughs> and they're taking photos and i don't know if they've like planned it or what um they're taking photos and then after she get proposed to the guys telling her to turn around and pose like a certain way um where are they they're they're on the stairs right here to turn on see just what it was. so it seemed like legit so fake it's so funny and then <laughs> <laughs> that right in front of the Eiffel Tower as well so it's like okay um, does this guy look dodgy I want to ask him to take a photo of me let's ask him but he has earphones in I don't like talking to people when they have earphones in because it's kind of like you don't know your boundaries like you see people put earphones in to ignore you like why are you trying to talk to them type of thing because <laughs> that's where I put my earphones in, so you don't talk to me, you know. So, but let's ask him, he's taking photos of the thing. My camera is a bit foggy as well. I asked like an Asian guy to take some photos of me. Hey, not having a tripod, <laughs> he took them, but then <laughs> he seemed like he just did it, he just wanted to like finish. And also, this part, if you're gonna come here to take photos. Please know that the photos are going to be very far, like the tower is going to be very far in the background. So if you want something a little bit closer, don't come here. Not because everybody from the internet say, come to this spot, it's good to see the, the tower. Yeah, you do see the tower, but you also, it's like very far and everything else is like in the background. But this shot is cool and then the one when I turn my back. That's quite nice as well because my hair is just literally like popping in the background. So I need to go to the Ark. The Triumph. It's raining a little bit so I came in the corner so I can put my hood over my head. And I'm going to walk and see if I can find like a closer spot to take pictures of the tower. And then I'm going to walk from there to the Ark. So now I'm just going to see if I can put my hood over my head because it's raining and I don't want to get ill so we're gonna do that quickly I'm gonna set you guys down here I wanted to set you guys when I was taking photo but I also I, I realized when I put you down that I should have take 
put the put the thing on so you guys can see the guy taking my photo. I think he was traveling alone as well, so he looks so like unbothered. Like bothered when I was asking him. I need to take my jacket off first. Come on, Jesus. So I've decided to walk. Not too sure if I mentioned the walk is maybe like the walk is about 30 minutes, I think. So I just put my earphones in so I can listen to some music while I walk and kind of like explore a little bit. I think it's better if I walk. I've been taking the train everywhere and sometimes when you're on the road you miss a lot of stuff you know so I said let me just walk see what I can see and play some music and just enjoy the journey um, it stopped raining a little bit but the mood is kind of keeping my head warm my eyes are freezing so I just realized that it's taking me back to where I was last night I'm gonna stop my music it's taking me back to where I was last night I literally just realized that um, I think this is kind of like the closest shot at the tower you know where I came for the river cruise this is where the map is taking me I'm just, oh I know that station here the car familiar have maybe like um about 15 minutes walk left I'm down like this street and the way the buildings are it's just so cool i have no clue what the name of the street is called actually it's on there oh it's on that thing that's the name of what the street is called but yeah i'm just walking down straight down there i think wherever i'm going so quiet look at my jacket Oh, I need to close this back. This is just disgusting. <laughs> I'll get wipes and wipe it off. As I've been walking in the wrong direction for the last there. Because I saw the tower there. I was like, why am I going opposite direction for the tower? The map is leading me here instead of to where the actual tower is. I was like, okay, let me just trust the process instead of following my gut. Yeah? That's why you just never trust the pulse. You just follow your gut. Because now I need to <laughs> I need to turn back because I'm in the wrong direction. I was like, why am I coming towards here? But it's a long street, but it's just leading me towards this street. Instead, so now I need to walk all the way back, which is so long. And I'm gonna have to walk up that stairs for the partner trams. I'm doing so much walking now. So so nice. So I'm on the street. This is the closest I'll get. To the tower this is basically where the tower is i don't know why i ended up back there um the other side is basically parliament but this is the the street i'm gonna try and get a photo here it's not as crowded as well which is absolutely great i'm about to head i think i need to head to find something to eat now um something came to do like that steak place that i saw but a steak it's like afternoon like steak for lunch come on I wanted to go to um, Pink Mama, but it's quite like a famous place. I don't know if it's going to be crowded. And I also wanted to wear maybe like a different outfit. Um, only so I can get pictures. <laughs> but I think I'm going to see if I can find like another spot. Um, but I put in the Art of Triumph. I put that location in and then I'm going to see if I can find something on my way there. And then stop off. I got like some really good photos. I saw this girl. She and her boyfriend was taking photos and then I went up to her and she know what she was doing. I think she was like an influence or something. And then I got like some really good shots. Like these ones are so, so, so much better than um, the one that I took around there. Because I love my photo to be a little bit close rather than far because otherwise you just don't see me in them. So I like them to be from like knee up rather than like a full body type of shot. Um, I just think those photos definitely like look a little bit, look, look, look a little bit better in my opinion. 
so got some really good shot very very happy with those now i need to find something to eat we i need to hydrate myself and we're gonna climb the stairs i have like an open ticket so i can pretty much do so my bag keeps slipping off i wish i did bring the longer strap so i can do like a crossbody thing um i have like an open ticket for the arc so i can go there pretty much like anytime um can't remember when the last entry is um so yeah tomorrow is my last day here um i think for tomorrow what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have brunch at um pick mama i think so i'm gonna wear like a really nice i have like a maxi dress i'm gonna wear that um just so i can get some photos there do brunch at pink mama leave myself at the hotel and then i'm gonna have to come back and also change into something a little bit more comfy but i think i'll do brunch and then um yeah i think that makes sense i'll do that tomorrow and then today i'll just find like another place there's a steak place that i saw on tiktok that seemed to do really good steak they only sell steak there i wanted to go there well to go there for lunch they, oh shit my battery are dead i'll talk to you guys on my phone i want my battery are dead chill <laughs> Just finished half lunch at that steak restaurant i told you guys that i'm gonna go and it was so good behind me there is so crowded though but i sat down and i have my lunch and they bring out like two servings with like fries and everything and now i'm about to head to the art the tram i'm gonna try and get some footage on my phone because my camera is like dead now but lunch was beautiful i enjoyed that so so much and the sauce that they put on the steak was really good as well how much would i rate it maybe like a eight out of ten because the steak was a little bit cold but it was a good lunch really really good lunch i'm a very happy girl how cool is this it's just so still of a tall i'm heading on my way to chum elise i think that's the place where you have like loads of like shopping stores um was it like shopping and this is a louis vuitton store so cool of the way like this dior store have just pure white dresses on it not just dresses like blazers white outfits it's legit like so cool it look like really cloudy and then the, the color that they use as well so so nice the arc is down there i'm really trying for you guys with the battery yeah? <laughs> the arc is down there and i absolutely love walking this street so far and once i'm finished i'm gonna have a more some more walk around and see see what else I can you know discover because there's some pretty cool building I think this is the bus building as well I don't know what that glass one is wait I don't know what that reflective glass one is but when we get closer we can see this glass one is basically Saint Laurent this is so cool <sighs> I wonder if they can see inside, but this is Saint Laurent. Oh, my outfit. I didn't get to show you guys properly, but here it is. This is massive in person. Like photos or videos doesn't do it any justice. It's a literally like a massive arch in the middle of the street. It's so big. So how do I get over there? Because I have a tour. It's on the other side of the street, there is a tower for you to access the the ark which makes it so much easier because otherwise I was like, how do I access this thing? But there's a tower just under here. I'm just start walking and I'm already tired. I'm already tired and I'm just start walking. Literally, just start walking. But these stairs are some serious squat stairs. <laughs> Squats and legs. I'm gonna probably stop like some point, of course, because because you're going in circles type of thing. Guys, right, so I got inside. It wasn't that much stairs to be fair, they're just a little bit like steep so your leg does hurt like when you're coming up. But instead, it is basically, um, they have some displays going on. And then I'm going to go outside. 
on the terrace and it's more stairs so yeah Look at this view at the top of the terrace. It's like a 360 of Paris. I'm about to put my glasses on so I can see as good as you guys. <laughs> Look at this. It's just so well. Honestly, honestly, like honestly, the stairs are not that bad. They're not that bad. It's because you're coming around in circles, so you feel kind of dizzy. If you just take your time and come up, it's absolutely fine. But for that amount of stairs to get to the top of this, it's really not that bad. And the view is beautiful, so it's definitely worth it. Guys, I'm here kind of taking in everything, and this is so freaking beautiful. Like, I noticed how each street, and then there are like buildings in like a V shape, or what would you call it, like a triangle. Um, and then you have streets that like cut across it like for every like part that i'm looking at that's how it is and it's just it's really really cool like swinging from up here and then overlooking like paris it's just so freaking beautiful hey guys so i am back at the hotel i came back maybe like one hour now so i've been charging the camera because the battery died I think I pretty much showed you guys all that I need to show you when I was there because I was take, um, turning the camera off and then on again just so I can preserve some of the battery. So I think I pretty much showed you everything. Such a lovely like morning slash afternoon out. Um, lunch was really, really good. I really do like that place and the service was really good as well. Just bear in mind that it does get a little bit busy. So if you are traveling alone and you really don't, like crowd just bear that in mind but it i feel like totally fine i feel like i was there with someone i'm normally like really comfortable if i'm dining by myself anyway because normally i don't need company to do like much stuff or enjoy certain things so um i was just pretty much enjoying i wasn't even like on my phone or have earphones in or anything i was just you know taking the scenes enjoying the food and stuff like that so just bear that in mind that it does get very busy and you might have to wait outside for a queue but it's really really good i love the service anyways i'm here thinking i remember i said i was gonna go to pink mama tomorrow to have brunch there i'm thinking i should probably go from tonight to have dinner because i'm gonna need dinner i'm really hungry now again so i need to have dinner and i'm thinking i should probably go there for dinner tonight um but i know that's like another busy restaurant as well so i probably need to book like a reservation or something and the thing is i don't like booking reservations why because i just like to show up when i'm ready i don't like someone to tell me that i need to show up at seven or i need to show up at eight or i need to show up at nine i just need to go when i'm ready you know so that's why i don't want to book reservation because i don't know how long I'm going to be here procrastinating for basically. <laughs> so that's what I'm here thinking. And um, it's now 5.37. I'm thinking I'm probably going to need something in the next like one hour or two. So two hours max. So maybe like after seven minutes to eight, seven thirty, I could get there. Um, but I'm going to freshen up. I really want to take this makeup off. I'm so, so oily. I wanted to go to the shop today, actually, but I didn't. For some reason, guys, my battery normally serves me for, like, the whole day. And I'm only trying my phone just once a day. I don't know if I'm taking, like, so much content. Duh. <laughs> I'm taking, like, so much content and my battery keeps dying. So I'm having to come back and I didn't bring, like, a um portable charger because it's not something that i normally have to do even though i have portable charger at home i didn't really think to bring it so yeah so i haven't come back as well and just charge but even to just recharge myself as well because i've been out literally all day and i've walked everywhere um i've walked to the to the tower you guys see someone walk in the wrong direction for 30 minutes and then having to turn back because i was down the parliament side instead of the other side and yeah i walk a lot today this is actually a piece how is it gonna tell me thirteen thousand steps i know i take more steps than this 
He said I'm gonna take 13,000 steps today. 13,200. I know I'll probably take more steps than that today. The walk on my walk, here. Yeah? So let's see if I can actually see if this restaurant have any reservation. And then we'll book. If I'm going tonight, I'm just gonna wear... Well, I actually need to eat some dinner tonight. I'm gonna wear like that black dress that I... Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna wear that black dress that I have. And just some flats um, that I have as well. Put like a jacket on and yeah that would be the outfit like literally really simple i just need to freshen up and stuff i also don't have any storage on my phone today tell me why um i asked someone to take me photos right and she was there and i mean i have 684 something items sink into the cloud i'm really hoping that the photos are there um i probably doubt it because if there if it's not in the bottom there then it's probably not so i was in front of the arc the triumph and she was taking me loads of pictures and some of them seem really nice as well you know guys and when i look into the the thing the picture of them gone because we're not having the storage the picture of them gone so i only got like three photos there which is so annoying because i didn't like these three i like the other the other photos that the other girl took her friend she took better photos but them gone because me not have no storage iphone you're wrong for that wrong 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 for that so don't have much storage and so my stuff not really sinking so i need to see if i can probably clear some stuff up oh i forgot this yeah so i want to see if i can clear some stuff up um Maybe like all the stuff. I also have photos that I took from 2014. Them for today. Women in need. So even if I can have like a drive or something. And just store them there. Because I don't need 41,000 stuff in my phone. I really don't look at them. I only. Only the stuff that I need now. Um, like my travel stuff. I don't really like to delete my travel stuff. Because I like to look back on them. So I just need to find somewhere to store those. Anyways, I'm just rambling on now. I'm going to see if I can find a reservation for Pink Mama or if not, maybe like another restaurant. Pink Mama is pretty close to me, so that would be nice to go. If anything, I can probably just take like an Uber or something. We'll see. Um, but I will check if they have reservation and then we can go from there. So we're going to have to find another place to eat tonight because Pink Mama doesn't have any availability. Until Wednesday. Look at this. Until Wednesday. They don't have any availability. Only because I know that I should have booked it. But the same reason I was like. I don't want to tie myself into doing something. Just in case I want to change my mind. So they don't have any availability. This is not until even Wednesday. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Wednesday. February 1st. And then the next availability after february 1st is basically february 15th so you will say valentine's day everything else booked right up so i'm gonna have to find somewhere else to eat um i do have like a list of places in my phone so i'm gonna have a look on my paris planning sheet um i did go to one today um, which i told you guys i'm gonna tick that one off because i've been here and then I have like just a few more stuff on here and my friend did send me some stuff so I'm gonna have a look in terms of address and stuff and see where I can go to eat for dinner tonight. Guys, I am dressed and ready to head out again. It's around after 7, almost 7.30. Where is the time? Yep, around 7.25 and I just wiped my makeup off. I changed my trousers and I put like a different jacket on. I'm gonna have some food. I'm gonna head to this place. Let me tell you where I'm heading. It's kind of like this area called Montmartre. It's pretty close to where I'm staying at the moment. And there's this restaurant. I'm just going to walk because it's pretty close instead of taking the train. Um, So I should be there maybe like 18 minutes. The train is around 11 minutes. So it doesn't make sense. I as well just walk there. So um, Montmartre, I was planning to go there tomorrow as well because I heard... We're seeing that there's a lot of stuff around that side to kind of like explore. So that was the plan for tomorrow to go there and explore. But I need some food and there's a lot of restaurants around there. So I'm going to have something to eat at this one. Um, it's basically like a French cuisine type of thing. And if I find something else that probably I like, 
then I will just pop in there only because the French cuisine I'm a little bit hungry now to kind of like struggle with that menu so we'll see how things goes so I'm gonna head out um, walk there and hopefully we can get some food and hopefully it's some nice food I think I have everything I have my wallet and my phone I have you guys and yeah I pretty much just pack some of my stuff us wait uh, excuse me I pretty much just pack most of my stuff as well so the stuff that I'm not really gonna use so I only have like my jacket out that I'm gonna wear tomorrow and then I, and then like my skincare bits and yeah just so it's easier for me tomorrow when I'm checking out I think checkout is at 12 as well we need to double check that anyways let's go I can feel like a little headache I come on only because I need to eat I had some nuts and drink some water my water intake is shit so I had to do that and let's go. Hey guys, I'm back at the hotel, literally just got back and I went for dinner at that place that I told you guys that I'm gonna go to. Found it on TikTok. Um, someone said that it's like a traditional French restaurant. The queue was so long, so I was like, okay, maybe this is good. Let me just stay in the queue, give it a try. The on that street was very lively as well even though it's like night time it's like very very lively so i'm definitely gonna go back down there tomorrow however the food <sighs> i ended up ordering this macaroni with it said it was like some french thing i saw the word french i was like okay i was gonna order chicken thigh with something else and i was like no let me just order something new that's what we got wrong because I should have even ordered on you when we know someone hungry. I should have just ordered the chicken. So I was like, okay, macaroni sound familiar as well. Let me just order the macaroni. Get the macaroni. It was literally like so bad when they bring it out. You know, sometimes, you know, even when I lift the macaroni up, you can see like the, the top part is like really hard and some burn bit there, you know? And it just looks so horrible. And when I try it, it was cold as well. My food did call. I was hungry. Anyways, I it's a very busy restaurant, like very busy. So I waited and I saw the guy, and I called him back. He not speak English, so he can't understand me. Anyway, I said to him like, "Look, my food is really cold. I can't eat this." So, anyways, he took the food. I told him I broke. Anyways, he took the food, bring and say he's gonna warm me up. Tell me why the man put the macaroni in at the microwave. You know, guys, macaroni, it tastes like overnight macaroni. Macaroni in at the microwave, that is just wrong. It's not going nice if it's fresh, especially for a restaurant. Why would you put a macaroni in the microwave? Anyways, he come back and I said to him, like, look, did you put my macaroni in the microwave? I can't eat this. It's not that great. That's what I said to him. Listen, one thing about me, like, I don't play about my food. Like, if it's bad, I'm going to speak up. Or if a service is not that great for me, especially because I'm paying for it, I'm going to talk about it, yeah? Because me, I spend my, my hard-earned money. So I said to him, like, look, you can't put it in the microwave. It's not that great. So anyways, he didn't understand what I was trying to say. So he called out, like, the manager. And then the manager came and I said, look, he, he, the macaroni is not that great. And I'm, I'm showing it to him. The top cross, how it's, like, just horrible. And I said to him, like, look, he put it in the microwave and I, and I can't eat, eat this. It's not that great. Anyways, he brought up back another macaroni where it looked like it just come out of the oven. That one did taste all right, but it's such... I don't understand why it's on the menu as a main because it shouldn't be served as a main. It should be served maybe like a side. Because so I was like, okay, like, where is my meat and stuff? Like, literally no protein in it, not at all. So anyways, he brought out the macaroni and I eat like some of it. I was like, okay, I'm over this. I'm really, really over this. Even someone has got like steak and it wasn't like great. But the menu, the, the prices on the menu, they're really cheap. So even the, the macaroni and stuff cost like nine. Nine pound of macaroni is, is a lot, yeah, for just macaroni. <laughs> and it wasn't like truffle and anything extra to with it, you know. It wasn't like a five cheese type of thing. When we see the steak, even the lady never eat a steak. Anyways, man, talk about me. So I was like, this is really not that great. 
at that point now me kind of pissed because they're like okay i'm waiting this queue for so long for this restaurant to be so shit and what i want is on people on tiktok like if the place is not great stop saying it's great stop i put the place them and just tell people that it's not great instead of saying oh this is like so so good it's a french restaurant definitely recommend and when you go there you wait in this queue for so long and it's not that great to get trash food it's not nice so pissed about that. I was even planning as well. Oh, I'm gonna eat my main and then I'm gonna get dessert. Like I didn't even order dessert. I was like, you know what, let me come go because this is not that great. So yeah. Pissed about dinner. But at least make it eat a little bit or something. Literally. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna chill for the rest of the night. It's still quite early. I come in a little bit earlier today than yesterday it's about 9 45 um the streets they're really safe i really feel safe when i'm here in paris i still be like cautious and stuff when i have my phone and stuff hey guys it's my last day in paris and i'm pretty much just sitting here getting ready i've already showered got dressed i'm just wearing like this black top i've been wearing like the nude one and the green one for the past couple of days and i was just wearing the black one today and my jeans and i'm putting like my socks on now check out is at 11 which is so annoying i was hoping to stay here until 12 or just take my time even now i'm not rushing though because i've already packed like my bag and stuff so i'm gonna have to leave my suitcase in the storage downstairs but i'm gonna have to carry the bigger bag with me it's light anyway like this one This one I'm gonna have to carry around with me. It's quite light, so I just have like my makeup in there and my passport and other stuff. And leave around five today. Train leave at around five twelve, I think. And I get back to London around six thirty, which is a good time, even though it's rush hour. So fingers crossed, it's not crazy. Not too sure why I choose to this why I decide to travel in rush hour. So it's rush hour here in Paris. And then Russia in London. So fingers crossed. If anything, I can avoid the train here and just walk to the station because it's just 15 minutes. I did walk when I was coming here. So I might do the same thing just to kind of like avoid a crowd. And yeah, what I'm going to explore today. I'm going to head to Mont Montmartre, like I told you guys yesterday. Um, that's where I went last night, but I didn't really explore. I only went for like food. But there's literally so many shops around there and so many things to do. So I'm gonna pop there and see what is it about and stuff. I'm just putting my shoes on. Yeah, so I'm gonna pop there, see what it's about, and hopefully aim to leave by three. I need to at least be at the station one hour before departure to make sure I check in and everything and everything goes smoothly instead of going there and then literally like rushing and hopefully there are like no delays as well so fingers crossed that's what we're hoping for I have my shoes on this one um, they're super comfy my toes are killing me the shoes I think that I was wearing before, it kind of break my toenail, which is so annoying. So I'm going to have to get my feet done. And I need to get my nails done when I go back to London as well. Um, so yeah, that's the plan when I get back anyway. For today, I'm going to explore. And I'm going to take you guys with me, of course. Sit that on and we might get the fight Fuckin' that I keep the quality in my shorty back You know she wants a mom when she tattooed that ass I'm a lover boy, she got a toy Keep it coming, we're right up Just that roll myself a day and count my figure shit So I'm in Montmartre <laughs> I've been butchering these names, Mont Montre, Mont Montre. Listen, I've been butchering these names. I didn't learn French in school. I learned Spanish. So I'm currently just exploring the neighborhood and there is a Basilica there. There's also loads of um, guys here um, giving you, putting like, bracelets on your hand. Just be careful of that. Um, like I said, I love having my earphones in. So when they try to do that, it's like, they i just act like i don't hear them but they try to put braces on your hand and then they'll ask you for money type of thing so just be careful of that when you come here because it's like loads of them 
pretty much over that side there but I'm gonna climb up to see if there is a view at the top wait I need to turn back this way I'm gonna climb up there to see if there is a view at the top I love a good view yeah so if I can climb somewhere to see a view I'm gonna climb it's a lot of stairs um, but we're gonna go up there Look. see what I'm telling you with the, um, the bracelet he's just walking beside those guys there trying to get them to put like a bracelet on and if you do stop and acknowledge them then you pretty much know what you're up for anyways let's go up there and have a, a little climb of these stairs like I don't have enough of like climbing stairs already but let's do it we are not there yet but my feet, my feet's tired <laughs> you know think someone who goes to the gym like all the time would be fit enough to walk up some stairs listen I can do stair muscle but these type of stairs they're real life stuff yeah same with like running i would never run outside it's well I'll never say never but it's way harder than running on a treadmill so when i see people like actually outside running like who will see you because it's actually not easy so i'm still standing at the bottom of the we're not at the bottom bottom let me turn the camera so you guys can see i'm still like not up at the top of the basilica but I'm just looking over because I kept like stopping and looking back just to have a look at the view like each layer that I take to come up and it is absolutely beautiful I'm wearing my glasses as well guys so you know I can see everything in like 3d <laughs> it is literally like just so so beautiful the view from here not too sure if you guys can see because the light is coming from that way so it might be a little bit dark um, but I'll take footage on my phone and insert it if when I rewatch this and it's not as good of a quality. But it's just really, really, you know, beautiful. I decided to just sit down for a little bit and just take in the view. Instead of like rushing to walk up there, I have loads of time. I have probably like a couple hours to spare today. Because um, I'm probably just going to walk around this town I'm probably not gonna go anywhere else because I've seen what I wanted to see so I'm probably just gonna walk around here but I'm just gonna take in this view because it is so nice so that's what I'm gonna be doing here instead of rushing to go to the top this is a nice seat as well pretty much right in the middle just overlooking everything I decided to get my house up and climb up to the top because otherwise I'll just sit there because I was getting too comfortable so I was like you know what let me just get up because I'll stay here all day just sitting and taking in the view oh wow it's even better at the top wow listen I'm a sucker for good view imagine this at like freaking sunset would be so nice and then you can get, go even like further up so the view that you were getting before I was sitting right there and that's the view that you were getting before and now I'm at the top which is um, here <laughs> so still not like all the way up and this is the view that you're getting now um, that I'm showing you so they actually do have like a lift for you to climb down but i don't think it's working um also i think you have to pay i think not too sure because it's not working but everyone is taking the stairs for now but there is a lift i saw like an old lady just now and she was struggling to come up and then she said something to me in french and i was like i don't understand english please <laughs> but I think she was saying something about the stairs as if it been too much and she sighed because she sighed when she got at the top but I was like I know ma'am I don't know what you're saying but I feel you <laughs> there's so many like really nice restaurants here literally like a lot a lot to do so I definitely recommend that if you have time or if you can slot it in come and see the town because so much to do so many restaurants and at every corner things are just really pretty but look at this one here like 
this one I think sell like dessert and some other bits didn't read that I'm just assuming but I have no sense of direction at the minute I'm pretty much just walking anywhere maybe I should have gone down there yeah let's go down there I like to follow my gut yeah <laughs> It's basically what I'm doing like if I'm going somewhere my gut says go down there other from yesterday when I didn't listen to my gut and I ended up in the wrong direction but normally I like to follow my gut if it says turn down that street I'm gonna go down that street I stopped off at this restaurant to grab something to eat and best believe it I'm having a chicken sandwich because I'm scarred from last night <laughs> They kind of pulled me into the restaurant as well. I was passing looking at the menu outside and then they were like, Oh, you can come in and look. You know, once they're reaching, they can't really leave. So I ended up ordering like a, a chicken sandwich. Just to grab something to eat. It's quite cute in here as well. I don't know if you guys can probably see. Probably this is a bad angle, but... Oh yeah, it's quite cute inside. I'm just gonna eat. I'll show you guys what the sandwich looks like once I get it. This is a sandwich. It's literally like nothing special. It's so tiny. <laughs> I wonder how much I'm gonna be paying for this because I didn't really look at the price. I just ordered it. But I'll let you guys know. So I grabbed the sandwich. You guys see how small the sandwich was. And I grabbed a bottle of water from the fridge that said it was two pounds. Bottle of water. You know what the man tell me say? The water was four pounds because I sit down and drink the water in the restaurant. So to sit down in the restaurant and have the water is a different price from you taking the water and bring outside. I wasn't even there for long and I said to him, but I'm taking the water. He was like, yeah, but you sit down. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Four pounds for this, for a five um, milliliter water. And he told me because I sat down. That is daytime robbery, so be careful of that, guys. Like, if you're gonna buy any water or anything, get the free water and then grab your bottle of water and go out. Because, how are you gonna charge me a full pound? Because I said I want to sit down, I am baffled. <laughs> that is legit so funny. Anyways, I paid like 10 euros something for everything, which didn't compete with me because I'm still hungry. Because you see how small that sandwich was crazy anyways i am going to see if i can find like some pastries and grab some few bits i don't even know what direction i'm heading into i'm gonna have a look on my phone that is crazy <laughs> i had to stay there and question it a little bit because i'm spending my money i'm gonna question it yeah so i was like but the water on the thing said two pounds then he showed me in the menu where it says football. I'm like, what? I don't like that. I don't like that. I found some pastries. I grabbed some from like a shop that I found in the corner there. Um, I'm surprised, guys, like how many shops in Paris, like on the corner, just casually selling bleaching cream. Even the road that I stay at, literally, like in all of the hair shops. Oh, I can't go down here. Literally, like in all of the shops, they just have just bleaching cream, like a bag of bleaching cream. <laughs> and I'm like surprised. I mean, they're in London as well. Like in the hair shop, you can find like a little section, but that one just sort of like a the kitten just sitting on the corner there. Anyways, I grab like pastries. I grab this one is called. Muse, Muse, Muse. I tried it before and then I got some macaroons. For some reason I ended up back at the hotel. I was walking around, I was like, mm, this street looked quite familiar. And I ended up back at the hotel, that's because it's not too far from where I was. And then I have a look at my list and I was like, oh shit, I haven't been to the shopping centre. So I'm gonna have one of this and then I'm gonna jump on the train and quickly head off back. To the shopping center because I didn't realize that I haven't been into the shopping center. Oh my gosh! So, mm. mm hmm, mm hmm, 
<laughs> yeah, it's so good. I've had this before, but I haven't been this great. I don't want to open this, but I'm going to have it on my train. So I'll show you guys what it looks like later. I'm going to put it in my luggage, I think. I really didn't realize that I haven't been to the shopping center, you know, guys. It's after one now. I need to get back by three o'clock. So I can head off. Ouch. Bloody. My finger is bleeding. Because of the the thing at the edge here. Anyways, let us go. Let's look at my Okay, so I think I just need to walk like five minutes and then take the number twelve. I So I've been walking around because there's so many places to like shop here. Um, I didn't realize that there's like another street to shop and I came down but I'm cutting it short because it's 3 o'clock after 3 and I needed to be like on my way instead of here just still walking around. So I had to quickly make a U-turn and leave because I realized that the time was going and the station that I head to it was closed so I have to be going to one further so that's the one that I came it's a bit further than the other one so wait yeah that one's a bit further than the other one so I was like oh shit I need to make like a u-turn and leave right now but that's the thing because I'm taking the train it's so much better than taking like a plane or something because I would probably have to be there like two hours before no not two hours like three hours before um but this is fine I should get to the hotel in like 20 something minutes so it should probably I should be at the station by four o'clock to be fair which is which is okay which is one hour before my train depart so it gives me time to actually um to actually like check in and stuff but I just don't want to miss it and to be fair like there's probably going to be a delay well I'm not putting it into putting it out there well, it's, it's, it's likely that there will be a delay but at least I'm there when I'm supposed to be there um, so definitely recommend like if you're in Europe London wherever just take the train because it's just so much more comfortable where am I going so much more just, just better I prefer it to be fair Thank you. At the train station. And I need to double check where I'm going. Um, it's probably down here for sure. I, I need to take number 12. And I need to head to Marie de Abbeville. That's where I'm going. I need my ticket. Oh shit. I need my train ticket. This is what the station is looking like basically. And I'll show you guys the ticket in a bit if I can find it. Give me a sec. So this is what the ticket is looking like basically. I think my train is there. And the one that you haven't used, you just put it in, which I can't remember. Um no, it's not that one. Oh my train, I go go away. It's probably this one. Not valid. What the fuck? Let's try about the other one. What the actual fuck? Why the ticket them not work? Guys, my ticket them not work. But I have two tickets. Unless these are from last night. Let's try another one. Wait, lad. Okay, my take out two more fresh tickets. So let's try this one. Yep, this one works. Oh gosh. It's so happy when you just have like too much ticket, not a bug. Um I need to get to hmm. 
<laughs> what a hot mess that's where i need to get to the train left so the next one is in a minute and you kind of wait boy you kind of see it on the little thing there which you guys probably cannot see but it's on the board there it show you um Wait, let me just leave you guys because... Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hot mess. Listen, I'm going to leave you guys. Let me stop myself for you because I'm just dropping everything. Train is here now anyway. Bye. hey guys i am back in london and i realized that i didn't end the paris vlog like so so sorry i think after i jumped on the train i was literally like rushing to get on my train back to london so that's why i didn't really finish the vlog but the train station in paris was so confusing i could barely see a bit of english in there to help me lead to where i need to take the train but i asked someone and they directed me so that was fine the train from paris as well was like on time it was such a smooth journey back and i have such a good time in Paris as well definitely a place to travel solo if you are planning to travel solo or you wanting to travel solo Paris is such a good place to go and I feel really really safe there so I will definitely recommend and I will definitely be going back but thank you guys so 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 much for watching and I hope you did enjoy the vlog and be sure to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. If you want to see more of my travel vlogs, I have loads more on here. So please be sure to check those out as well. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.